Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Jan here. Um, I am going to do a bloom blow, I guess, today. This is a 30 by 30 centimeter canvas. I'm just covering the canvas with a base coat of... Um, it is a mix of Amsterdam paint grey and there's some uh, Goya black paint in it and also some deco art uh, black sand enamel, satin enamel. Um, this was very much so in, uh, um, inspired by Rinske Downer, who did a Dutch pour the other day where she used only Amsterdam pearl paints. And it came out stunning. So I wanted to try to do something similar, but I'm not doing the Dutch pour. Um, I have actually only done, I think, three or four in my life. Not that I don't like them, but it's just... Um, not the way that I've been going, so um, I might get into that eventually, but uh, for the last two years I have only done, done, done it a few times. So um, what I'm doing is, um, like I said, I, bought, I put the base coat down and then I'm going to add three little puddles, one with the pearl white, one with the pearl blue, and one with the pearl violet. And then I'm just going to add uh, some cell activator, which is from um, uh, made with uh, Amsterdam titanium white in Australian Floetrol. So here I just put down the first uh, violet, I think, blue. It was hard to see. I tried to paint on the cups what color it was, but yeah, the blue and the violet are a little hard to see. Also with the marker that I used. This one, however, is the white. So that's a pearl white. Uh, or white pearl. Um, and then this last one looks more blue, I guess. Hmm. Hard to say. But yeah, um, didn't help much, did it? <laughs> but anyway, um, so I put down these three uh, puddles. And then I'm just going to add the cell activator into the puddles and then as you will see I think that I've decided that my blow dryer maybe that's why I'm, I haven't really worked with Dutch pores because it's definitely not working the way that it should I do think that the attachment on the my blow dryer it's the it's not uh, narrow enough so there's the air is being spread out too widely so that's why it, it, you can't really focus it on or, or direct it to a certain spot it just blows all over the place so it really doesn't work but you'll see that now and I end up giving up because it, it just will not um, blow out also my paint is thicker than what you would normally do for um, Dutch pours I know that but should really work but it's just this blow dryer is not working with me so as you will see in a second i give up and i just use my lungs instead which worked out perfectly um right now it doesn't look like much and um yeah so i start blowing it out with my mouth instead and then you can see that the cell activator starts working uh, you can see a hint of the colors in the pearl paints but it's not a lot as you will probably know if you've already worked with pearl paints um, it really doesn't show up until it's actually dry it's amazing the difference between the wet and the dried results it really is um, had a little trouble there with the dark pool um, as you know it is not um, Richard, it's it's actually bendable and um, yeah so I dipped it in on the corner of the, on the edge of the canvas and uh, had to sort that out after but but it's all good nothing bad happened um, so yeah this was the blowout simply just blew it out with using my 
lungs and um, that little splash up in the top corner right now. Um, I actually like it, so I left it because um, it just gave it some interest, I think. But yeah, you can see this. Maybe you can see on the bottom puddle that it's a different. There's a different shine to it, but it's really hard to tell which one is the violet, which one is the blue, which one is the white. But um, trust me, you will notice when you see the dried results. Please do stay to the end of the paint of the of the video because there you will see first the wet result then a semi-dried result and then at the end uh, there is a dried result which it came out really stunning i think so i'm really happy with this and i'm definitely gonna get some more pearl paints the reason why i didn't use more than i did here is that i don't i only have these three and a silver uh pearl silver but i'm not sure that that's actually the same it's not by amsterdam so here i'm just spinning it out a little and I decided not to speed up any of this video because so that you can see how fast I spin or how slow I actually spin is not really forceful it's just a light spin um, this spinner that I have is exceptionally good it spins so easily and it just keeps on going um, right here there were a few, few splashes of the white paint that had just uh, when I blew that just um, yeah splashed onto the to the negative space and I didn't want those splashes I like the you can't really see it right now but there is still the one that I talked about in, in one of the corners um, it's just a hint of a, of a splash really on the final result but um, I liked it so yeah, this uh, I'll give it a few more spins and uh, while you're watching that, I just want to thank you again so much for coming here and f thank you for watching my videos. It uh, really means a lot. Um, thank you for leaving comments. <clears throat> I really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I do post a new video and I promise again I know that I've done it before but I will try to start posting more often and um, leave a comment in the in the comment section and last but not least please do give me a thumbs up and with that here are the wet results and the dried results I hope that you enjoyed this you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon bye